there we go, there's a table. And we don't know the order of these things. So selecting any of these buttons is largely irrelevant. It's just not worth it. So we've got the tag, technical tag, ID, and we've got the tag, technical ID of persons, and we've got the technical tag, table. Believe it or not, uh, that's enough to be getting on with. So we close that, save it. You'll notice we didn't see those buttons. You know, maybe, shall we rescan that? Again, more boring stuff. Okay, so let's click on the table and then go full zoom. So we have some, we do have the buttons there, right? But which one? Let's have a look at all the properties. It's a little bit slower. Reflected. Name. We want that. We want that, okay. But we don't want it on that specific row. So we want to generalize it. But this is a property we want to hit. So we need to take a note of that. Lowercase name, lowercase edit, it is case sensitive. Okay. Kill that off. Don't want to save the changes. Let's go back to Tosca. Take this. Drag it into our process test. Move it up where it should be. And in here, now we need to check the e, um, the row, the cell, first name, John, we're constraining it to that, then it was like first name, last name, John Doe, again a constraint, and then we want action. There's actually there's nothing within action, and we didn't scan what was inside action because it changes all the time. So let's go back here and select a row, and then stick some buttons in here. Not a reflected. Create an embedded button. Create another embedded button, and I think it was remove and edit okay let's go back there we go got them already um but as i said remember we got all these different rows so you got like four different removes and four different edits so which one do you use we can't scan it because it changes all the time so if we go over here and then insert a reflected id parameter and name edit have a good practice Actually, copy that maybe. Control C. Name. I'm sure it was lowercase as well. Name remove. If we go back here, then we can click on. We can do a. Let's try an X. That's not a verify, that's a select. Select that one and input an X into that. Let's try it. Boom, that's it. Okay. Kill that off. And then we got the full test. What's it called? Fun funnel tables. 9248. 9248. And then it should start off the whole thing, the whole shooting match. Run. just loading up the obstacle course now boom that's it all right guys and girls cheers have fun bye